Hey everyone, in this video, let's compare Kling AI with NVIDIA AI. In order to do so, let's go ahead and start off here with Kling AI. And I can't say enough good about Kling. I really enjoy it. I've tried a few different platforms and uh, Kling really seems to have all the tools that I'm looking for. So I would recommend using it. Um, not to say that other platforms don't do some great stuff, it, they do, but uh, after trying a few different things, Kling just really covers the basis for what I'm looking for in an AI generation platform. We can, with Kling, explore the different creations that other people have made if you're on the homepage, and we can go to either images, AI images, AI videos, or effects. And with the AI images, if we click on that, then here you can do use text to image in order to create uh, amazing images. And uh, a lot of the options here, let's see here, we just get some really nice stuff here with Kling. So if you wanna use it as an image generator, then you certainly can. But the main thing that you're probably going to want to use it for is for videos. So if we head back to the dashboard, let's go ahead and click on AI videos. And you're going to see here that we have a variety of options that we can take a look at. So we've got text to video, we've got image to video, and we have lip sync. So that's really great. The fact that uh, Kling has lip sync is wonderful. And here with text to video, you can get some really nice results from that. Uh, with image to video, we've got some interesting things to look at. So we have the frames option, which is to just bring in a, uh, uh, an image and you can use that image to um, get the generation that you're looking for, but you can also use the elements and with elements, you can put in multiple images. And so you can get some really interesting results from this and uh, play around with this. You can sort of put in different images depending on what you're looking for and the results can be really spectacular. There's also effects and with this, you can play around with some of the effects options. Uh, I would recommend taking a closer look at that just to see exactly how you can w get the most out of that. But most of, <coughs> for the most part, I've been spending my time with the frames and the elements. And if you scroll down, we've got uh, motion brush. Um, you do need to change the model. So if you come up here, you can change the model to 1.5. And so you can use the motion brush. Oh, that's unavailable with 1.5 as well. So let's see, is that only 1.0? Oh, okay, there we go. So yeah, you have to use that with 1.0. Um, and then you also have the option to do five seconds or 10 seconds. So it's, it's kind of a big deal to be able to do something 10 seconds. You get some really nice results from that. You could switch to standard mode or professional mode. You do need to upgrade to premium in order to use professional mode. And we also have camera movement as well. That we need to use, let's see, I guess that's only available for six. It said that, uh, Okay, so it says that it's not available for standard mode. So you have to switch to professional mode for that, which you do need to upgrade. But you do have some basic camera movement controls there, so you can get some really, really nice results. Let's go ahead and compare this with NVIDIA. And with NVIDIA, it is a slightly different uh, focus than Kling. Kling is, uh, um, it does video generation, so does NVIDIA, but NVIDIA is more focused on creating tutorials tutorials and and uh it's something that i would say is more of a business tool uh not exclusively because you can create some um, some animations with it as well but its primary function is to take a script and to turn that into a helpful tutorial that you can use for your business so we'll just kind of give you an example here this is something that i created here with nvidia for skillcraft so let's just go ahead and take a quick look at this the AI revolution isn't coming, it's already here. Every day hundreds of new AI tools launch, promising to transform how we work, create, and live. But here's the real question. Which ones actually deliver? With over 1,200 AI tools tested and 3,700 plus subscribers trusting our insights, Skillcraft AI does the heavy lifting for you. We spend countless hours testing every new AI breakthrough, from Grok 3 to DeepSeek, from basic automation to advanced creation tools, our channel brings you crystal clear comparisons, honest reviews and step-by-step -step tutorials that cut through the hype. No fluff, no confusion, 
just practical insights on tools that actually work. Whether you're a complete beginner or an AI enthusiast, we help you find the perfect tools for your needs. Join over 3,700 viewers who've discovered game-changing AI tools through our channel. Hit subscribe and let's navigate the AI revolution together. New videos drop daily, keeping you ahead of the curve in the fast-moving world of AI. So there you go. That is what is capable with NVIDIA. That's using stock footage. You can do image generation as well to get uh, some more uh, specific results. But the results, I think, speak for themselves. Really, really cool way of putting together a short tutorial video that you can use for your platform. And guess what? We're partnered with NVIDIA and we do have some lovely codes that we are going to provide for you. So if you use NVIDIA 25, you get 25% off the annual NVIDIA uh, studio plans. If you use NVIDIA 30, get 30% off monthly studio plans. NVIDIA AI offer 50 for 50 free AI minutes for use in the first month of a new NVIDIA AI subscription. And if you do that, uh, you'd be helping us out. We'd certainly appreciate it. And there should be a link in the description as well. That's all there is to it. If you found this video helpful, please leave a comment and like and subscribe for more helpful tips.